Hello everyone, I'm Arthi Asrani and I'm excited to discuss our work on behalf of my colleagues. Poverty is one of the most significant economic and social problems today. While often overlooked, mentorship and other means of reducing social barriers are pivotal to poverty alleviation and transformative change. Traditional forms of mentorship typically include a relationship in which a more senior individual supports a lesser skilled or experienced individual in support of career advancement or psychosocial development. This hierarchical relationship positions mentors in dominant positions and mentees in subordinate roles. However, literature reveals how these arrangements overlook necessary support factors such as reciprocity, empowerment, and solidarity. In turn, scholars have advocated for alternative mentorship structures with a lens of equity, inclusiveness, and social justice. Within HCI and CSCW, we've seen crowdsourced mentorship for skill development and connection to experts. However, such technologies have been used in institutional and more formal settings like training, education, and employment with more financially stable beneficiaries. We complement this previous work by focusing on a different set of stakeholders, particularly those experiencing poverty and in a non-institutional and less formal setting. Our work aims to address calls for a deeper understanding of mentoring relationships that extend beyond conventional one-on-one -on -one relationships, calls for more equitable and inclusive forms of mentorship, and aims to provide an understanding of the opportunities for technology to support these efforts. Thus, in partnership with a nonprofit located in Detroit, Michigan, we evaluated how a community-based mentorship program supported self-sufficiency and economic mobility among adults experiencing financial hardships. The nonprofit focuses on sustainable neighborhood growth by developing people and communities and working towards those goals. The nonprofit implemented a community mentorship program to support known barriers to stable employment such as low self-efficacy and limited access to social support. They adapted a version of the economic mobility pathways mentoring model in their implementation. Please refer to our paper for program details about our partnership and about the city of Detroit. Within our studies context, we regard community-based mentoring as an infrastructure and use an infrastructural lens to foreground the relations and configurations among the technology artifacts and human actors involved. In our study, which took place between January 2017 and August 2019, we asked the following research questions. One, what types of infrastructure work do individuals involved in community-based mentoring have to conduct? And two, how does this help to re-envision mentorship in HCI? To address our questions, we conducted longitudinal surveys of the 38 community members, including participants, mentors, and coaches. Please refer to our paper for participant details, including average age, annual income, and education levels. I'm Alex, and I'm going to take over and cover the findings we share key findings from our interviews due to the limited data points collected from our survey. In response to our first research question, our work identified four types of infrastructure and work undertaken by stakeholders. First, participants engaged in infrastructuring to foster social support and create a shared space and a supportive environment for community participants to support one another. As seen here in one mentor's quote, they say it takes a village to raise a child, but it also takes a village to support the community. So I think the role here has been good. I've met a lot of community people, I've talked to some were less fortunate than myself, and I have been able to, I hope, encourage them and influence them in a healthy way. Second, enabling flexibility through infrastructuring. For example, a community person told us, just that type of friendship and connection made me say, I can believe in this program. And then I also, to have uh, the coach to call me and say, hey, I haven't seen you in a while. How are you doing? Just recently, she called me. I said, I need a medical advocate because I'm having problems trying to get my medication with my disability. We found that the program success relied on the flexibility of mentors and coaches to go beyond serving as weekly accountability partners. Flexibility in support was not limited to who was providing the support or the type of support provided, but also when and how the support was provided. Third, building trust through infrastructuring. In our case, some mentors and coaches decided to disclose personal experiences to build reciprocal relationships with community members. As this community participant described, it wasn't like, okay, well, you just somebody off the street or whatever, or somebody from somewhere. 
And then this is all you're gonna do. They really made you feel warm and welcome, and also inspire you. And you can like, okay, you're a teacher. You're gonna be a teacher. Trust was inscribed into community-based mentoring infrastructure through mentors, coaches, and community participants' ongoing effort in being respectful, non-judgmental, and genuine concern. And this process can be emotional in some cases. And finally, station together fragmented technology through infrastructure to ensure seamless communication. Mentors and coaches had to be flexible in their accommodations to the different levels of digital proficiency and preferences for communication modes. To answer our research question, how does this help to re-envision mentorship in HCI? Inspired by the community participants quote, we propose the notion of the village to describe two critical traits embedded in the community-based infrastructure we observed. First, ascribing community-based mentoring to a village allows us to ask what knowledge means and what counts as knowledge as mentorship. The village challenges the conventional mentoring that centers the knowledge of the expert to help the protege develop knowledge and skills valued by the expert. It foregrounds every person's situated knowledge and recognizes each person as a legitimate community expert. Second, community-based mentoring relies on the shared accountability of the village. Like a village, relationships were often many-to-many -many and roles sometimes changed. Apart from mentors and coaches, community participants sought social support from other community members with shared experiences. At the same time, community members, community participants held themselves accountable for taking care of others. Here, the village perspective advocates for the often understated contributions from all village members. Importantly, our work shows that operationalizing community-based mentoring involves infrastructuring work committed to fostering social support and trust, as well as coordinating technology use when asking the question, why infrastructuring work and for whom? We see that infrastructuring the village is conditioned by broader infrastructural breakdowns, such as the systematic failures in internet connections and labor markets. On the other hand, such infrastructuring work can, can be done out of situated culture and a sense of reciprocity embraced by the community. Thus, we view infrastructuring the village as an opportunity for communities to foster alternative socio-technical infrastructures that serve communities' collective needs and challenge the systematic and institutional marginalization experienced by those in poverty. To summarize, our key takeaways are, one, community-based mentoring involves leveraging and relying upon the collective knowledge and accountability of multiple members in the community. Two, infrastructuring community-based mentoring is an ongoing process of scaffolding and rearranging human actors, technical artifacts, and practices. And lastly, community-based mentorship could benefit from technology-mediated solutions that support many-to-many, one-to-many, and one-to-one relationships and offline interactions that build trust in the community. Thank you.